Hello everyone, so we're going to have Dan here help us out to see how we can use the trig hand drive to do inverse trig functions. So remember with sine and tangent, our inverses are in the first and fourth quadrant, and our cosine is in the first and second quadrant, and our answer is going to be based on whether or not our ratio initially was positive or negative. So the first one we're going to do is the inverse sine of root 2 over 2. So which finger can we put down so that I've got two below my finger and then I've got my palm of two. Indeed, that is the 45 finger. So since root two over two is positive, my answer is 45 degrees, which is also pi over four in radians. Next one we're gonna do is the inverse tangent. So remember with tangent, we flip our hand and we're gonna do negative root three over three. So because of that, I know that I've rationalized, so I want the square root of 3 on the bottom. So we're going to put down my ring finger. And if I flip my hand back, I see that that is my 30 degree angle. Since I was negative, I'm going to be in that fourth quadrant. So with my reference angle of 30, I've got 330 degrees, which is the same thing as 11 pi over 6. And for our last one, we're going to do inverse cosine of negative 1 half. So, since cosine's above, the finger that we can put down to have one above is our index finger. Once we have our index finger, we know our reference angle is 60 degrees. Since it is negative, it's going to be into the second quadrant. So second quadrant, reference angle of 60 degrees. I've got 120 degrees, as well as 2 pi over 3. Thanks.